Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft OneDrive. For those not familiar with OneDrive, it is a cloud storage facility that will allow you to access your files anywhere that you've got access to an internet connection. You can access OneDrive via the nine boxes that appear in the top left or right hand corner and you'll see it listed as one of the apps available within Office 365. Down the left hand side we have a menu, my files are the files that are private to you unless you've shared them with individuals. Recent are files that you've, you've recently edited and you'll see beneath that you'll find file pathways that will tell you which folders those files are located in so you can access them easily. Shared, with, shared has all of the files that have been shared with you. Now, if someone shared a folder with you, you'll find that the shared column can get a bit of a mess because they just appear in date order. But if you click on the three dots beside the file, you can add a shortcut to the My Files section so it's easier for you to locate. And then final aspect, we've got the recycling bin. That's where all files that you've deleted will stay for 30 days before they're permanently deleted. And then below that, we've got the quick access menu. So the quick access menu allows you to access file directories and these are files and folders that have been created in both Teams and SharePoint. So if you've got a team such as this one here, when I click on that, I will see folders and those folders are equivalent to the channels within the team. And then within that, I can create subfolders um, and I can access content that way. So if you're looking to create a team, think about the folders that you want, set out the, the, the channels, which will in turn give you these top level folders and then you can go in and create your the rest of your folder structure beneath that as you can see here are my folders all listed here and I can access them via OneDrive or via Teams if I'm adding and editing content I typically access them via my OneDrive through the shared library so let's go back to my files. So if we look across the top, we can upload files and you can upload any file type you like. So if you're say uh, a person who does lots of, of graphic work, you may have some Photoshop files or Illustrator files, you can upload those. The only caveat is you're limited to a, an individual file size of 100 gigabytes. So that's quite substantial, 100 gigabytes on the individual file. So you should never run out of room, but it's great if you're if someone who creates Photoshop or Illustrator files, you can upload those and save those. You can also upload files or folders. So if you have a folder of content, you can upload that. Just be aware of your internet connection. Um, the larger the folder, the more complex the files, the longer it will take to upload. So that's how you can upload content. If we go to new, we can create a new folder just like you would on your local computer. You can create a Word document, an Excel document, PowerPoint, OneNote, a Forms for Excel, which means it's you get the Excel sheet uh, as an element, which means it's easier for others to view uh, the content and for you to update the form as you go, and you can add links. So it's a great way of being able to create content and be able to access it regardless of where you are, as long as you have an internet connection. If you're going, offline and you're going maybe on a train ride where you're going to need access to your files if you click sync it will sync your files with that device and you'll have a local copy that you can work on and then when your files resync when you're back in an internet connection it will bring all the updates across so there you have it one final thing to show you is if we go to new let's create a document this will allow you to create the document in the browser so you don't need to have the native app installed on your device you'll be able to edit the file First thing you'll need to do is to name a file, so just do that at the top. So I'm just gonna put James Demo. Now if you find that the browser-based version of the app that you've opened, in this case Word, doesn't have all of the features you need, then if you go to the editing tab and drop down, it will give you the option to open it in the desktop app. So, but th that's it really. There you have it, OneDrive. I think it's a great way of keeping all your files secure much more secure than using a mobile or portable uh, USB device. And it means you can access them wherever you have access to an internet. So I hope you found the video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.